litigator is someone who handles disputes for clients, and the disputes uh, traditionally are um, resolved either by negotiation or uh, through lawsuits, through going to court. And there are other methods we could talk about later for dispute resolution, which are mediation and arbitration. But that's what a litigator does, represents clients in disputes. When I said negotiation, I was thinking of negotiating resolutions of disputes as opposed to f fighting them out in court. Uh, but I do also, um, and I think this is a little different than, than many litigators, I also do get involved in transactions uh, that a non-litigator uh, would, um, uh, would be involved with, and that would run the gamut from um, doing a, um, uh, a management agreement for a, uh, for a celebrity, for a, a rock star uh, who um, wanted uh, to have uh, somebody with um, special focus and uh, special sensitivity to confidentiality. Uh, and uh, so I uh, have done that kind of thing. I've been involved with mergers and acquisitions of record companies uh, and helping to structure them. And I also uh, act as a counselor and advisor to uh, the, uh, National, the uh, National Academy of Recording Arts and Sciences, known as the Recording Academy, which is the Grammy organization. Uh, and um, I have a title there called uh, National Legal Counsel. Uh, and in addition, of course, I'm a partner at uh, Proskauer Rose, uh, an international law firm, and I'm in the New York office. Primarily, uh, you find that the transactional lawyers just do transactions. They do uh, negotiate record contracts and publishing deals and things of that nature. Um, I um, would not negotiate a full-blown record deal, uh, but um, if uh, a company, for example, uh, a record company or an artist uh, wanted advice about a particular complex issue involved in the negotiations of a recording contract, uh, uh, I am frequently brought in to be part of the team, whether it's the legal team for the, uh, for the record company or music publisher, or part of the team for the, uh, for the recording artist or songwriter. It's generally you find that the transactional lawyers uh, uh, are usually not in law firms that also have litigation capability and vice versa. And that's because uh, the typical uh, or traditional transactional lawyer uh, is someone who handles the day-to-day -day, uh, contracts for a recording artist or a, or a songwriter or a, or a producer. Let me give you examples. Uh, a recording contract, a songwriting agreement, uh, a co-publishing agreement with a music publisher, uh, a merchandising agreement, a touring agreement, um, and then uh, if an artist goes on tours, there are countless agreements uh, with uh, promoters and other parties, uh, and there's the not only the negotiation of those, but often the oversight of those. That's what a traditional transactional lawyer would do in the music industry. Um, and uh, very often you find that uh, if you um, in a, are in a law firm where you have a litigation capability and you also have a transactional capability, sometimes they butt heads with each other because uh, uh, it, it kind of, you run into conflicts, uh, legal conflicts where, uh, uh, conflicts of interest where you're not allowed to uh, uh, represent a law one law firm cannot represent both sides to a transaction or both sides to a litigation uh, and uh, so uh, the um, the transaction lawyers tend to be uh, in smaller firms uh, that, that focus uh, on uh, on entertainment transactions whether it's in the uh, music industry or the film industry or, or television or a combination of those. Uh, there are some uh, exceptions, but they're rare. When I say generally, I think for, uh, for, for the most of the uh, major record companies and music publishers tend to use lawyers who come from larger firms. Not always, but they tend to generally do that. Artists um, uh, are often represented, and, and songwriters as well, and, and record producers, uh, they're often represented by lawyers who are either from smaller boutiques, they call them boutiques, or smaller um, uh, firms that specialize in litigation, uh, or, uh, or who are partners or associates in large law firms. So I don't think it makes 
difference to the client, frankly. I think it's just um, finding the right lawyer.